Hello and welcome to this video on the digestive system. In this video um, I'm going to go through all of the organs that the food goes through during digestion and a few of the organs that are involved in digestion but that the food doesn't actually go through. In the next video I'll concentrate on how enzymes work in digestion and I'll go into a little bit more detail about the process of digestion. So first of all we start off with the mouth and this is where um, mechanical grinding of the food happens and we call this mastication. There is also in the mouth, um, round about here, there's some salivary glands as well which are which produce enzymes which are involved in digestion in the mouth. And we'll come on to those in when we talk about enzymes in the next video. So the food travels through the mouth and down this long tube here which is called the esophagus and the esophagus connects the mouth to the stomach. Um, so the food goes down through the esophagus into the stomach and here is where it will start to get churned. Also in the stomach there's hydrochloric acid and that kills any bacteria that's on the food and the food will start to get churned and broken down by those muscular contractions that occur in the stomach. After it's been churned up in the stomach, it will then go into the small intestine. So it goes down into the small intestine, which is these smaller tubes packed in the middle of the intestines here. And it will work its way through a small intestine. <clears throat> in here, there is a lot of digestion occurring, a lot of enzymes acting, breaking down the larger molecules into smaller molecules. And once that digestion process has occurred, the food, then the nutrients are then absorbed into the blood. So we'll have small um, amino acids and um, fatty acids and things which have been broken down and the sugars which can then be absorbed into the blood and transported around the body. So this is where the, the nutrients absorb, the soluble molecules, the ones that can dissolve into the blood. In the small intestine there are um, folds, loads of folds in the lining of the small intestine and these are called villi. And what these really um, do is they provide a really large surface area for the absorption of those nutrients into the blood. So there's loads of folds of these in the small intestine. <clears throat> After the small intestine, the food goes into the large intestine up here and will track around and out. So in the large intestine, um, because most of the absorption of the nutrients that happen in the small intestine, you're left with the food waste that your body doesn't need anymore. Um, and in that food waste, there'll be loads of water. So in the large intestine, the water is absorbed back into the bloodstream so that it can be used again by the body. <clears throat> and your faeces, your poo, is compacted, starting to be um, compacted together. It's then stored in the rectum, which is down here, so as the um, food travels down the large intestine, all the water's being gotten rid of, and it will end up being stored as faeces in the rectum. Then after the rectum, you reach the anus, which um, you don't need any exp explanation for what happens at the anus, everyone knows what happens there. Then the faeces then leaves the body. So all of those are organs that the food actually travels through, involved in digestion. We're now going to move on to a couple of organs that are present in the digestive system, but they are organs that the food does not travel through. Um, and those are the liver and the gallbladder, and they are involved in producing and storing bile. So it's the liver that produces the bile and it is the gallbladder that stores the bile. So the liver is a really large organ okay, that um, lies just next to the stomach and off of that organ the gallbladder is actually really small, just a little storage vessel here for the bile. 
and the bile is put into the digestive system at the top of the small intestine here. And we'll talk about what it does a little bit more in the next video, but um, as, as we're mentioning it here, it neutralises the acid from the stomach. So as food comes through, it'll be in an acidic environment, the bile helps to neutralise that acid before it goes into the small intestine. Then behind um, the stomach area here, next to the stomach, we've got um, another organ involved in the digestive system, and that's the pancreas. Now this is a really important organ. It um, produces loads of enzymes that are involved in the digestive process. So it's a gland that produces lots of useful enzymes that help to break down the food. So these are the organs involved in the digestive system. Um, you will have to learn all of them and you will have to learn the ones that the food travels through. In the next video we're going to talk in a little bit more detail about how enzymes are involved in digestion and a little bit more about the digestion process itself. So if you found this video useful then pre please press the like button below and feel free to subscribe.